Hi there. I am really, really discouraged. Uh, oh, I have a fan going and I have my bread machine in the background. I hope you can even hear me. But um, I'm looking for a body lotion. And I usually have been using hemp lotion because hemp lotion um, really keeps my body uh, relaxed, not tight from the injuries on my body. And it seems when I don't use that, um, that I'm really feeling uncomfortable. So I was trying to find a different way to do it. And I do have lavender and chamomile in an oil that I use. And I have hemp capsules now broken up in a small, tiny, um, like Tupperware, Tupperware like container in my shower. So, um, if I really need to, I can mix that in with just an ordinary, lo ordinary lotion. I'm not saying that, an ordinary lotion. Um, the reason I'm getting off the hemp lotion that I have been buying, it um, has mineral oil in it, and I knew that mineral oil isn't good for you, and I just, it was the only thing that I could find, um, and now that I've looked around, like Burt's Bees has a really nice hemp oil lotion, but it's really hard to get a hold of. It's always out of stock. And if I remember correctly, I don't think it had anything in it that would affect me. The other problem I'm having, it probably did, because the other problem I'm having, not just the preservatives and the things like the EDTAs and um, the sorbates and the benzoates, that would affect me so much more than someone else where the... Um, NCBI, the National Consumer Bureau, with our government, um, reports um, how dangerous these um, chemicals are in our products. Um, I definitely don't eat them, but I've used them in lotions. Um, so I'm really trying to cut down exactly what I put on my body so it doesn't inflame me that much more where I have Hashimoto's which is um, a thyroid autoimmune disease. So it's going to affect me faster, or at all, more than the regular average person. Um, and I realize there's very small amounts of this in our, our cosmetics, um, skin care, but um, if I see anything that can cause damage to my liver because I can't break it down, then obviously I'm going to do everything I can to avoid it. Now I haven't done that with some of my favorites. Like I love Philosophy Ultra Light Moisturizer. Um, it makes my skin just so relaxed, which when my skin is relaxed, that's really good for my body. Um, because, you know, once your body's relaxed, you're, you're healthier. So I just got another four ounce bottle of that. Um, I haven't gotten off of that. Um, and it is something at the bottom. My main concerns right now are things like mineral oil that's up at the very top, which is a petroleum um, like sister derivative, and that's definitely carcinogenic. And um, those things, and then sunflower oil. A lot of the great products that um, I would use have sunflower oil. Now that's really inflammatory to me with Hashimoto's soybean oil is. Now, soybean oil, I can find a lot less in products, so that's not that discouraging, but the sunflower oil. And I suppose, like, I have the sunflower oils in my sun butter that I eat every day, but I know that it's not processed um, with harsh chemicals that really, really affect me horribly. I mean, it doesn't say, like, if they started labeling how their sunflower oil was processed, I think I would probably feel better to use a lot of these products. Um, I don't know why they don't. Maybe they assume that the, the label and the name of the company you shouldn't have to. Um, now there's beautiful Nivea lotions where you think I would be safe with them, but a lot of them, um, what was stopping me with one ingredient at the very bottom is Trisodium EDTA. Now EDTA period, when I tried to break it down to maybe it's a different form of EDTA, um, I couldn't break it down into a different form. Um, it is not healthy for us at all, and that also was under the NCBI uh, with our government. And so, I mean, it's amazing what the government reports to us and, and what the FDA approves. So I don't understand that if the government is monitoring, um, I guess for those of us who want to know, 
and just putting it out there for those of us who don't want to know in our products and so I'm, I'm really like I'm, I'm physically drained because it's something I really have been looking into the last few days and I really thought I had it with Nivea and like a new article came out from National Geographic about bromine and uh, the vegetable oils that are in um, like Mountain Dew um, I don't want to quote other ones because I'm not quite sure of the differences um, in the names of one or the other ones that's very popular that it's in there but this just came out and, and talking about this just came out I mean I knew that sodas weren't healthy everybody knows sodas aren't healthy but it's not just the sugars and the fat it's the chemicals in them and so you know to see this happening now I'm like wow it's, it's really coming forefront and it just made me I believe EDTA was in that report but it just really makes me um, so much more uh, aggressive to to look at oh titanium oxide I know I've used things with titanium oxide as a matter of fact I think I have my um, I'm not going to quote when, oh I put it away it's in here oh, I don't want to have to read through I'm not going to quote but I thought about a sunscreen like mineral sunscreens are supposed to be better for you but if I remember correctly um, I think some of the ones that I buy have titanium oxide in there and I knew that word was dangerous and you know but I'm saying I mean I knew it was dangerous but I'm saying okay I'm overreacting because I mean every chemical to me I really look at like in the strictest so um I uh anyway now that I have more information I'm just really lost I'm lost because I really really like I have hardly any of the mineral oil hemp lotion left I have no idea now what I'm going to buy. No idea what I'm going to buy. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. I tried to do a DIY face wash just to save money. And I saw what it feels like to put some of this stuff on my skin, even though it's natural. It did not feel good. So DIY is up for me. So uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for listening.